Loretta went back. <laughs> Loretta Dumas. I'm going to say the great Loretta Dumas. Why? Because you, you've you lived beyond the greatness. You've been hanging out with some, yeah. you've been hanging out with some heavy people. I've been around for a long time, that's for sure. But 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 the, I would say the heaviest person you hung out with, as far as, it, as far I'm concerned, because I'm a literary kind of you know, denizen, mm -hmm. is uh, the great Henry du Henry Lee Dumas yeah. from, from Arkansas. Yeah. Where, 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 yeah. Sweet, sweet home Arkansas. Sweet home Arkansas. Of course, you didn't meet him in Sweet Home Arkansas. No, you're a northern girl. No. I met him in New York City. Mm. So I wanted to do, do one specific thing. I don't need to, what is it? Okay. But you, he's such a great writer. And when I first started reading his writing, I immediately thought, this is a science fiction writer. Now, he's part of the Black Arts Movement, so everybody's mm -hmm. thinking, you know, militant, that, 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 that. And one of his great, one of his great pieces, mm -hmm. is, well, his poetry, is, is, is Root Song, which mm -hmm. we, whatever. Mm -hmm. but, but for me, his short stories, they're all signed. My yes. favorite is the, the Lake. I have to tell you that right now. It's like a fess up to that. I, mm -hmm. I read, I would read the Lake yeah. annually or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But you said something about his writing. You told me something about his writing. Because you, you was there when he's creating these yeah. stories, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. now, tell us a little bit about that. You know, when you first saw his writing, what, 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 what happened? Well, when I first met Henry, um, he gave me a manuscript of his. And to tell you the truth, I don't know what happened to it. It was handwritten, and I typed it up for him. We hadn't married yet, but um, I wish I, I wish I even remembered the subject matter of it. But I thought it was so um, descriptive. I, I could really connect with what was ha vivid, you know. I so it's vivid like that. I guess they would say cinematic these days. Yeah, yeah, okay. you're cinematic, you right? Vivid, and, is better. Uh, vivid is a better word. But go ahead. Yeah, yeah. And you could feel everything in it. Mm. Um, but anyway, um, Henry was one of these writers where uh, the writing owned him rather than the other way around, him owning the act of writing. It really was po definitely who he was. You mean, I, I'm trying to figure, you're he saying, you're saying. He didn't make the choice to write, he just wrote because that was. So is this, we're talking beyond channeling. You're saying something else. He didn't channel stuff. I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Usually people say, well, I'm just channeling. I'm just the yeah. first editor of, of yeah. this thing that I got from someplace. What do you, what do no, you actually No, it, it was just his spirit to write, you know. Mm -hmm. And he had a gift of, you know, his imagination was brilliant. Mm -hmm. and, I know he did some research because I know I, I've heard oh, yeah. that, that he that was he used to carry around a, a big tape recorder and go around the south and getting re realistic yes. dialogue. And oh all. yes, yes, mm. yes. When we um, moved from when he retired from the Air Force and we moved back to uh, New Jersey, he um, well I say back to the Northeast because he had been living in New York. He had one of those huge tape recorders, you know, with the reel to reel. You know. And he taped people right on site, you know, in rural areas of Arkansas and rural areas of California. And um, you um, re-recorded some of those and put them on the smaller tapes. You know. Oh yeah, because of, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Did, I did some of that yeah. work. I like yeah. to get. I would like to get that one, uh, the one that he did with David. Yeah, with da okay. Where, where, you know, this, right. just, 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 I want to. Okay. I want to. I, I, I will that, dig it out. That stuff yeah. needs to be digitalized. Yes. When I did the yes. first thing, it would take me from the reel to reel yes. to cassette. Now we get right. it from cassette to, to digital. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's like my little lifelong work, I guess. Yeah. You know. <laughs> but but you were saying something about the process when when you was first. Uh, well. Well, maybe I don't understand your question. You, know, but you were saying that when you start reading his stories, you would be in one, you'd be one place, and all of a sudden, the oh, right, right, right. It, it would start out as a um, conventional kind of story, but it would quickly take a turn. It would quickly evolve into something unexpected. And um, I don't know whether you ever read the story of the man who could see through smoke or something like that, or through fog, the man who could see through fog. Have you ever read that story? I probably have. Which one? What book is it in? It's in Echo Tree. I've read it. I've read it. Believe me, yeah. I've read it. Yeah. I'll go revisit but, it but again. That, but that was written back in the 50s, mm -hmm. and uh, in the late 50s. So that was a very early piece. But um, um, they all kind of explode into... I mean, some of it is, the Explode doesn't describe all of the stories, but they all take that twist, that turn into the science fiction which you have identified so well. Yeah. You know. I saw the book there. Talk to the camera for a second. Just tell okay. me about it. Get the book there. <laughs> okay. Um, 
One of the, one of the stories that Henry wrote called The Lake has um, Anthony's read the story um, The Lake while he was at WBAI in New York and he gave me that recording and I shared it with an English class that I had um, a couple of years ago, a lifelong learning class. It was very well received by my fellow students, very well received. And unfortunately, we didn't have much time to, to discuss it because it was, you know, I played it, it was kind of near the end of the class. But um, we can talk about that at another time. I, uh, oh, here, uh, page uh, 278 of, uh, of the, 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 the collected short fiction. Of, uh, of Henry Dumont, of the, because I don't know if this is going to come out right. And then, did, are they repu but anyway, um, uh, but it's, it's the man who could see through fog. Yes. I know, I must I, I got this, I got this book down. I, I'm, I, all my books, all my Henry books are down in Virginia. With my okay. sister, Because okay. I move around too much. <laughs> I would lose and stuff. So I have all the books yeah. like mm -hmm. that. But I'm going to reread it when I go okay. back to Virginia at the end of okay. the week. I'm going to reread right. it. Anyway, so Loretta, thank you so very much for this little time here. You know, and uh, we'll, we'll talk again sometime. Okay, fine.